for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Seven of Cups, clarified by this Ten of Wands. Nope. S excuse me. S um, I was looking at something else. Seven of Cups, it's the card above the word pass. And it's clarified by Seven of Swords, the card below the word pass. Okay, so recent past energy between you and your person. Now this Seven of Cups, it's actually a card about choices. It can indicate confusion though. It can point to, it can point to disorganization, having too much going on. There's need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So when you get the Seven of Cups, it's important to just choose a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now, the Seven of Cups is with the Seven of Swords. Yes. Okay. Now, the Seven of Swords can be someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you start to feel like someone is spying in on you or prying, prying in on you, you could be right. Or if you feel like digging through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern. You just might want to rethink the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. So, basically Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Seven of Cups clarified by the Seven of Swords. So, what I'm getting is that you're involved with someone or... There's someone around you. They do a lot of watching you. They keep tabs on you. They they might even stalk you. Because the Seven of Swords can be about stalking and just prying into someone's life. This person is really interested in you. They want to make you... They want to get to know you or they... Or if you already know this person, they want to, I hate to say this, but they want to make you one of their options. Yeah, so somebody's really interested in you. In you. I don't know if you already know this person. And if you don't know this person, they want to uh, bring you into the mix. And if you do know this person, I guess they want to keep you in the mix with all their options. But they're very interested in you. They're, they want to know more if they don't know you already. Yeah, they want to bring you into the clan or to the group. Sorry about the noise in the background. Okay. So, let's move on over. Let's see what is, what's going to come up for you two. We got the Ten of Wands, and so the King of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look carefully at this and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally. It actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. Don't try to take on too much. 
because if you look at the card the picture of the ten of wands it's the card above the word present this man is walking forward with these wands in his hand but he's actually about to fall backwards so try not to take on too much if this is you yeah now it's with the king of wands king of wands it can indicate a man he could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum but it could go either way now this person they may they may want to serve as a mentor for you the king of wands is really positive even when it does not even when it does not represent an actual person in your life it signifies that you could have a lot of men around you who are supportive of you and they think really well of you so you'll be feeling ambitious goal oriented and you have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind so basically coming up for you and your person um, ten of wands clarified by this king of wands so yeah you might start to feel like well let me put it this way this person they have um, this person cares about you so I'm getting that for most of you you already know this person they care about you but they do keep the door open with these options here um, and you might start to feel like the, re the relationship is difficult starting to feel difficult for some maybe because of all the options um, yeah and if it's someone new you might be thinking it's too difficult to deal with someone like this but this person is going to um, come across like they really care a lot about you so let's move on over and let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the challenge yeah so we have the strength card and it's with the two of swords now the strength card when you get this one it's important for you to meditate contemplate spend some time alone even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids so do not allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things they'll be going all right but what's most important is keeping your head on straight not only do you have the ability but you have the responsibility so conquer your fears control your impulses and try not to lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do now it's with the two of swords which tells us that your partnerships they're likely to be going somewhat well whether it's friendship romantic business however you're gonna have to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person and if you are not it could be time to bring things back into balance but this does require open communication so the challenge for you Libra the strength card clarified by this two of swords yeah like I said I don't know if this is someone new or someone that you already know anyway this person they have options and they want to make you part of their options or you are one of their options they're starting to catch feelings for you because they see that you're different yeah they see that you have a lot of self-love with the strength card showing up here they see that you you have self-respect and yeah you have a lot of love for yourself and you're you're strong you're a strong person um, you're not weak-minded you conquer your fears you control your impulses and you're standing in your power yeah you're standing in your power oh sorry about the noise I'm so sorry it, it was quiet when I started this reading the windows are closed if you can believe it but the noise comes right through anyway you're standing in your power this person is is amazed by you you're different you're not like their other options 
Yeah, they like that you're like the strength card. Strength card, you can tell. You can be really patient. You can be very um, compassionate type of person. Um, strong. And they like that you feel... Um, they like that you you're all, you you have self love. You have love for yourself, and you have self respect. They see that you're different. Put it that way. Yeah, and they know because the two of swords is here. They know that they could uh, actually lose you, because they feel that. Any day now, you might decide to just block them because the Two of Swords, what they do, the Two of Swords, what this card does is sometimes they, the Two of Swords will block and avoid someone. So this person, they know you're different. They see it. And they, they're starting to catch feelings for you. Yeah. At first, it was about just including you as an option. Yeah, they see that you're feeling that this is too difficult and that you're a different type of person and you will drop them like a hot potato. They know it. The Two of Swords, that's what she does. She doesn't drop you like a hot potato, but she'll pull out those two swords and she'll block you. She won't let you come anywhere near her. So they like that you're different, Libra. They're starting to catch feelings with this King of Wands here. So the outcome, we got the Three of Wands. And it's with the Ten of Cups. Now the Three of Wands, you could find your finances are going much better. In fact, it could actually feel like a month. Or it could feel like a time when your ship has finally come in. So you're likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it does mean that your efforts are seen, appreciated, and they're, they're well respected. Now, it's with the Ten of Cups, which is another one of the most uplifting cards you can receive. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a really good card to get in a reading. Ten of Cups, it speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes way past you to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Being spiritually fulfilled is also a part of the picture here. Good card to see regardless of any question. So your outcome, Libra, Three of Wands, clarified by this Ten of Cups. So yeah, it, look, it looks like you're changing this person. Like I said, they like that you're different. And they, they like that you... You won't just stand for anything. Yeah. Because you got a lot of love for yourself. And you know your worth. Yeah. They know that once you start to feel that it's too much or difficult. You're, you're blocking them. You're no longer involved. So the outcome. They feel like their ship has finally come in. Yeah. They're starting to look ahead with growth and expansion with you. Yeah, they see themselves going forward with you. They've made a decision. That's what the Three of Wands does. They're no longer trying to figure out which one. No longer doing that anymore. They've made a decision and they're going forward. So, yeah, you make this person feels like, feel like their ship has finally come. It's finally arrived. There's no need to look any further. 
This person could be wanting the end all be all with you. Or they could see you as their Ten of Cups, like a dream come true. Ten of Cups can indicate a dream come true. So, yeah, you're changing this person. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this is someone new who's been keeping tabs on you, wanting to bring you into their, their mix, or someone you already know, but, yeah, they like that you're different. They like that you, you don't, you, you don't fall for anything. And you got a lot of self-love and self-respect for yourself. And they know you'll cut them out. So, yeah, this person is seeing that you, you could actually be the one. You're different. They, like I said, they feel like their ship has finally arrived when it comes to you. This person sees you as someone that they could have it all with. Ten of Cups. Yeah, now, just a side note, when the Ten of Cups talks about relationships, and if you're worrying, it indicates if you're worrying about a relationship and you get the Ten of Cups in a reading, it's a clear indicate indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. Because you and your person, you're on the same page. And if it's not made formal yet, and you hope that it comes to pass, take heart, it's coming. So don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really are any. So yeah, that is the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading... Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What is in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading, which will be in about another three or four days or four or five days. Yeah, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind... Uh, for these readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not romantically dealing with anyone, um, your person could actually be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care. Take care.